A mixture piece formed by removing a certain amount of coffee from a coffee jar and replacing the same amount with cocoa powder. And so, coffee jar. I have this is coffee plus cocoa. Nice. The same amount is again removed from mixture P and replaced with the same amount of cocoa powder to form a new mixture Q. New mixture Q. You'll have even lesser coffee. This is also coffee plus cocoa. But just have coffee here, cocoa here. Obviously, it's mixed, not in layers. Right? So we need to understand that. I'm just writing it down like this. When this is P, this is Q. The ratio of coffee and cocoa in the mixture Q is 16 is to 9. This is 16, this is 9. Very nice question. Because in this question, we forget cocoa. Then say we start with coffee. The share of coffee reduces. Because you're I'm taking coffee out, replacing with cocoa. So if I'm removing half the coffee, half the coffee will remain. If I'm removing one seventh the coffee, six by seven will remain. If I'm removing one eighth of coffee, seven by eight will remain. From here, I'm taking away both coffee and cocoa, but I'm replacing with cocoa. So cocoa is being removed and cocoa is being added, but coffee is only removed. So I'm going to track coffee. Coffee is 16 by 25 of original. 16 by 25 is a very nice number. So there is 4 by 5 whole square. I am done. So here, coffee, if I had x units of coffee, at this step I have 4x by 5, at this step I have 16x by 25. I am removing one fifth of the mixture and replacing it with cocoa. That is all I am doing. So x of coffee becomes 4x by 5 of coffee, remaining x by 5 is cocoa becomes 16x by 25 of coffee, remaining 9x by 25 is, is cocoa. So coffee is x, 4x by 5, 16x by 25. Instead of this, I'm going to say coffee is 25, becomes 20, becomes 16. Initially, this is coffee, cocoa is 0, cocoa is 5, cocoa is 9. 25 and 0 is what we start with, 20 and 5 is what is P, 16 and 9 is what is Q. Done. Then the ratio of cocoa in mixture P to the mixture Q. Cocoa in mixture P is 5, mixture Q is 9, 5 is to 9, that is there.